Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Modeling in Maya. Well, before we jump into today's video, I want to do a huge shout out to Carolina Alt. Now, Carolina Alt is from beautiful Brazil. She's a very talented artist and she made my new intro, okay? So, Carolina, thank you very much. I'm going to put a link to your YouTube channel below and guys, please check that out, right? Okay, for today's video, uh, what we're going to do is an envelope. Now, that may seem really easy, but it's something you see in uh, scenes quite often. And we're not only going to do the envelope, we're going to do a little note that sticks out with some text on it, and we're going to do some texturing, do some key shot, do some Photoshop, and so forth. All right, so let's uh, jump in and check it out. Here we go. Right guys, well we're in my 2018 as you can see, let's get started with our envelope. So I'm going to take a polygon cube and I'm going to hit R to uh, scale that out until I roughly have the overall dimensions of an envelope, or at least the back of it. I guess that's, uh, that would be about right. We're going to make sure it's very thin. Okay, so we're going to bring that way down. Something like this, all right? So now that we have that, what we're going to do next is we're going to go in to, uh, let's see, Insert Edge Loop, Option Box, Multiple, and set that to 2. And then we're going to go in here and we're going to put in 2 right there. I'll hit 4 for wireframe mode so you can see it better. And then we're going to hit R and we're going to move them way out to the end. Basically something like this, all right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to hit the G to repeat. And uh, yeah, no, it's not the right one, sorry. We're gonna go back in to Insert as Loop, which is still set to two, do two here, and move them as well. And again, close to the end there. And then one more time, we'll go back in, but this time we're gonna change the settings. We're gonna go to multiple and set that to one. And as we do so, it will put one smack in the middle right there. Okay, that's kind of what we want. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna cue on our keyboard. And I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna take this face and I'm gonna hit Control E to extrude, W to pull up. I'll hit five for shaded so you can see it again. I'm gonna push that way back in, make it very thin. And then we're gonna go in here and it seems I got a cube going on here. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so we're gonna go in here and I'm gonna take that face right there Hit Control E to extrude, and W to pull out. It's going to go to about here, I would say, and then we're going to hit R to scale that in, like this. Hit W, pull that down, and start to look for the angle that we want for our envelope. And we're going to focus on the right hand side here. We're going to duplicate that over later, okay? So um, initially, this is not too bad. Let's hit R and kind of pull it up a little bit like so and that should be about right because we're gonna have a triangle here as well so that's okay and then we're gonna go in here we're gonna right click our vertex drag select and that's gonna be our flap on top we'll then X to snap it that's about right but I think the overall height is a bit much so I'm gonna go to vertex and move it up like this okay so we got these two let's hit our kind of stretch them out like I said, the bottom one doesn't have to touch the bottom there. That's all right. I am going to duplicate this over later. So I'm going to just drag select this part and delete it. And we should be good there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and look at this guy. So we've got an edge going on here. And let's just see what we can do there. I'm going to hit W to move. And the reason that I'm doing that is I'm kind of creating that glue edge that you have up there. And that can be useful later when we're texturing. So this seems to be all right. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go in and we're gonna take this face right here, that one. Control E to extrude, once again, W to move up. And of course, we're gonna come down from that just so we have an idea what's going on. Bring it down to about this, take that face. Control E to extrude, W to pull out, bring it in like so. And make sure that we're just high enough. Now, that's a close call. Let's go back a little bit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back a little bit more and raise that ever so slightly. 
Okay, let's try that again. Control E to extrude, W to pull out. That's better. That's much better. Okay. So now that we have that, we're going to jump to the top and what we're going to do is we're going to hit R to pull that in like so. W to move over here and we'll adjust that in a second. But what we're going to do first is we're going to pull that up. And I'm not going to worry about this uh, left corner here. I'm going to fix that in a second. We're going to go in and we're going to push this to, I would say about here and then take that one, hold down X and snap it there. And we're going to do the same with this one. Okay, right? Good, good. Now we got this going on here. Uh, and um, the reason is that we created that glue line. Um, we don't have to be too concerned about that because it's not going to hurt us uh, model wise, right? Okay, so that seems to look okay. Um, so now it's time to duplicate that over. So I'm going to go to object mode. I'm going to go up to edit, duplicate special, option box. Let's uh, go to edit and reset. And I want to scale this on negative one on X. So negative one, duplicate special, shift select both, go to mesh and combine, and then right click and go to vertex. And then in the middle here, I'm gonna go in, drag select these guys, and go to edit mesh and merge. All right, let's have a look, let's see if it's all good. Like I said, we've got that glue line going on there. That's why we have that diagonal, but it's not interfering with our model, looks like. Um, no end guns or anything. Let's see. Oh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. No, I don't think so. Good, good. So what I'm going to do next is we're going to prepare this for texturing. Now, a couple of things I want to do. Uh, I want to have kind of a glue line here. So I'm going to go in and take these faces and I'm going to do a quick color ID mask. So I'm going to right click and go to assign new material. Let's go into Lambert and just put a color on it. Really doesn't matter what it is as long as we have an identifier. Okay. So now that we have that. Uh, I want to have a material for the inside, which is only this. Yeah, should be anyway. And we're going to right click go to assign new material, another Lambert. Let's do something blue maybe. Yeah, there you go, inside. Um, and that's going to be kind of white-ish paper. That's going to be a glue line and the rest of the envelope is going to be a different material, right? Not quite there yet. Envelope looks okay. What we want is a little piece of paper or a note sticking out. So what we're going to do there is we're going to take another uh, polygon cube, hit R, pull that up, push that way down, of course, after frame in, make that uh, very thin and I want a little bit of shading uh, in the final render so for that what I need to do is create a slight section of thicker um, paper on the top there so what I can do is a couple of things I could um, scale this up here but that would make the top look thicker I don't want that so let's go in here and go into injured edge loop and Let's do multiple and we'll do five. Uh, I'll put them in here. Q on the keyboard. So I can take this one and just kind of slightly pull that up. And then that one slightly less just to give that idea, right? Okay, it's too big of course. So we're gonna hit R to scale it back a little bit. W to push that down. We're gonna move that up here like this. So with that, and what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and I'm going to go to assign new material, Lambert, just give it a random different color for the simple reason that I want to see where I'm at as far as, you know, covering that color here. That should be all right. I'm going to hit E to rotate a little bit so it looks a bit more playful if I can get my handle here. Yeah, I think that looks all right. And then let's see if that's an actual issue here or not. Maybe it is. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click go to vertex and I am going to ever so slightly bring this down. All right. So I think that looks all right. 
So what we're going to do next is I'm going to go in uh, to object mode, drag click everything, go to edit, delete by type and history, go to modify and freeze transformation. And then I'm going to go to file, uh, export selection, and I'll just call this uh, envelope uh, color ID OBJ. Uh, I'll just uh, save that on my desktop and I'm going to jump into Keyshot so I can do some texturing. All right, guys, we're in uh, Keyshot. I'm going to go to File and uh, Import and I'm going to go to my desktop, look for my envelope color ID. There we go. Uh, let's see, keep original, hit Import. And there I have it. And you can see that everything came in okay as far as color is concerned. So what I want to do first is go to my backdrop, uh, take a white solid. Then I'm going to go to my environment. Let's take uh, this one here. That's maybe a bit dark. Now we don't have any materials going on yet, but I want to get something that's a little bit more white. That looks a bit better. Okay. Then we're going to jump to materials and let's see what we got here. So um, we need to simulate something that looks like paper. And what I want to do is get something that has a little structure to it, or try at least anyway. So let's try a cloth. And this looks a little bit like a cloth material. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on that. And I'm going to just bring that in here. And let's go into textures. And I'm going to start to change those colors. So I'm going to push that up. Hit OK. Push that up as well. Hit OK. So if we go in here and we go in really close, it looks like a material that you would see on uh, an envelope, right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use something similar for the inside and make that slightly different. So go to textures again. Let's go and go in here and change that color. And maybe just make that more white, I would say. We just want a slight difference there, okay? So let's see if we can actually see that difference. Yeah, we can. That's good. Maybe adjust this one just a little so we get a bit more contrast. So let's kind of push this down maybe a little bit. Yeah, that's a good, uh, good setup. Okay, so then what? We have that glue line. So let's do something uh, plastic and let's uh, bring that in here. Put that on there. Double click. Now, um, the reflective index, we can change that if we want it to be a bit more shiny, but we don't want it to be that gray. So let's see what we can do there. Let's go in and make that a bit lighter okay then for our paper uh, let's see the paper the paper let's do something fairly white and let's do a couple of settings to see what this looks like in a render and then we'll have a bit a bit of a better idea okay so um, I'm gonna go in here and uh, let's see I want occlusion ground shadows ground reflections maybe not crazy about the lighting just yet. So let's see, um, we're gonna go in here and give a couple of things a try here. I think this one's pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna go with that. And uh, let me see here. Yeah, that looks all right. Uh, we're gonna go in to render settings. Uh, so we're gonna go to the render tab. I'm gonna call this uh, envelope render. Save that on my desktop. Select that folder. Let's leave all these settings alone. In the options, I'm gonna bump the samples up and I'm gonna click render.
Okay guys, we're already in uh, Photoshop, as you can see, I played around with this a little bit just to uh, tweak it to my liking. Uh, this is basically our output from uh, Keyshot. And now that we're in Photoshop, what I want to do is add some uh, text to that piece of paper to give it some realism, all right? Now, first what I want to do is I want to go up to uh, Image, Adjustments, and click on Highlights and Shadows, so I can kind of play with that. You can see that that will give me some vignetting and uh, give a little bit more texture to the envelope. And I think that looks uh, kind of cool. So uh, I'm going to click on OK, keep that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a, a PNG type handwriting that I found online. So I'm going to go in to uh, a file and go to place embedded. So embedded and that would be this one. All right. Now, as you can see, this is a semi-transparent and we want that to fit on there. So I'm going to hold down um, shift and left click and drag to make this smaller. And then I move this up here. And what I'm basically going to do is hold down my control key, take that corner, position it up here, not all the way up there, basically in that corner. Then hold down control and take this one and push that up there. We're going to take this one. We're going to follow this line here on the left. Follow that note dimension, which would be about this. And then we're going to go up here and we're going to do the same here. And we're going to stretch that until it looks correct. And I think this is about right. I would say, let me think. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. So we're going to hit enter. There you have it. Now we can start to tweak um, the transparency and whatnot if we like, but what we need to do first is we need to get rid of the text that's on top of our envelope here. So we're gonna go into this guy and I'm gonna move in a little bit, hit uh, Control plus to get in close and Control minus to get out a little bit. And I'm just gonna touch the corner of the envelope here and I'm just gonna go and follow that envelope line to about here, here, and here. Then I'm gonna go in, take my eraser, make sure it's big enough. Click OK, yeah, erase that, and there we go. And then I'm gonna go up to uh, select and deselect, get rid of that. We're gonna repeat that process at this end. I'm gonna start in this corner and draw that to, I would say about here, here, and here hit enter, take that eraser, get rid of that, and go up to select and deselect, and then we're gonna take our eraser and get in really close, hit control plus, and right click and make our eraser smaller, and we're gonna just gonna deal with that little piece here, touching our envelope. Okay, and that should be it. Now, what we can do finally is we can play with that uh, opacity, if you like, if you want to kind of fade that text a little bit. And you can also tweak the blend modes. So if you would do, let's say an overlay, it would become very faint and you could push that opacity back up, kind of depending on what your style is, right? I'm gonna leave this at normal and push the opacity down a little. Now, that's basically all there's to it, guys. So uh, please let me know if you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you got any questions, let me know as always. And that said, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time, bye.